So over here, you can see that I have a frame in a design file. And if I were to go around over here and select out a rectangle right here, give it some style right here. Maybe I want to add in a linear gradient over here as well to give it some style right here. I'm just going to go around right here, select out color as I west right here, and then increase out the opacity right here. So this is what I have, as you can see. So let's say what I want to do is I want to inspect this to see the code on how this is built. Then what I can do is I can simply go to inspect and over here, you can see the properties right here. You can see the width, height right here. You can see the top left and so forth. And you can see the color values as, as well. And these are the code values, as you can see right here, which you can copy out so that you can paste it out into different uh, programming platforms of your choice. Over here, you can see that you can get different values such as CSS, such as RGB right here or hex code, and all of them will be displayed. So over here, there's different code as well. So you want iOS code, then you get code that is the design code for you to uh, take it into an iOS programming software. You can get Android code as well, as you can see right here, and you get CSS code over here as well. So this really helps you out, uh, especially if you want to integrate your designs in coding. And you can see that you can see different values over here as well. So similarly, if you were to go around over here, type in a text, let's say, for example, then you will get uh, the value in inspect area as well. You can see the properties right here. You can see the content right here. And you can see that there's different, opt um, uh, different details given over here as well. For example, there's typography, there's colors that you can work around with, and there's CSS codes that you can uh, copy and paste over here as well. So that is how you can use the inspect option to see different properties of uh, the contents in your design file in Figma. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.